We're Byron and Jill, two hands-on people with big dreams. In 2024, we purchased 100 acres in southeast Queensland in an area called Mount Binga. We bought it on a total whim. Byron was nursing a damaged knee after a motocross accident and doing some heavy thinking. And Jill was dreaming of being closer to the mountains, the beach, her family, and riding some new mountain bike trails. We'd never heard of Mount Binga before, but the native trees, rolling hills and permanent dams seem like the perfect place to build a new off-grid haven for us and our two boys. We're not new to building, but we are new to YouTube, so stay tuned as we get off-grid at Mount Binga. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Before we get cracking into today's episode, we wanted to take a moment to say thanks to everyone that's been following along so far and showing support. Our family and friends, of course, and also those strangers that have reached out and left us a message or two. Like we say in the intro, we are new to this whole YouTube caper and eager to get better at it. So please drop a comment about what you're liking or not and what you want to see more of or less. We're all ears. Oh, is that good as a sword? Okay, so on to today's episode. This is going to be an exciting one, for us at least, because it's the day we get our solar and battery system installed. We actually weren't there to see it ourselves, unfortunately, but Byron's dad was and managed to get this footage for us, so thanks for that, Steve. Funnily enough, we almost didn't go down the off-grid path for our power, as we've actually got an 11 kilovolt power line passing through our block and a power pole down the hill near the front. But there was a catch. When we looked into it, we were quoted up to $50,000 to have a connection made to the grid and to get the trench to our shed. And there would have been a 12 month waiting list to get it installed. We had always planned to go off grid, but when you've got the grid right there to tap into, it really does make you stop and think why you're doing it to begin with. But the cost and the time really solidified our decision. Off grid it is, and geez, we're glad we made that choice. At the moment, there's more than a quarter of a million people without power across southeast Queensland and the northern rivers of New South Wales after tropical cyclone Alfred just passed through. So that wait time of 12 months might have ended up being even longer had we gone down that path. Okay, so let's get on with it. It was Byron's job to hunt down a local business to do the whole install for us. And we seriously couldn't have found a better team. We were lucky enough to find Mangan's Electrical out of Nanango, just up the road. These guys have been absolutely amazing. From the moment we reached out to them, they've been on top of everything. Super professional, fantastic communication, and just an all round solid team. Honestly, we can't thank them enough. What you can see the team installing is a SunGrow RS 10 kilowatt single phase hybrid inverter with 24 440 watt solar panels. Can you believe these panels have a 25 year warranty? As for the batteries, we went with SunGrow again and we got 3.2 kilowatt hours and have four of them in place so far. These have a 10 year warranty. What's really cool about this setup is that we can expand the system whenever we need to. Just add another battery, stack it on top of the others, no wires hanging out, no mess and no fuss. When these pros showed up, they meant business. This whole job, including travel, was done in just one day. They came, they set up and they left us with a fully functioning off-grid system. The hybrid part means we can still tap into the grid later on if we wanted to down the track. We didn't get any special treatment, it's just how this team goes about their day.
Aesthetics is just as important for these types of jobs and the team kept everything straight and in line as is their standard. Now once the shed is finished being built and ready for us to move in, which hopefully is coming pretty soon, or going to plan, this will only be a temporary thing. We don't plan on living in the shed for too long. Well, Byron says he's happy to live there forever, but I have bigger dreams for us and they are slowly coming into fruition behind the scenes. We've got to say, in today's world, it's rare to find young people who actually show up to the job site, let alone show up with a great attitude and a well-groomed operation. But that's exactly what we got with Mangans. So a huge shout out to Elliot and his team. We're beyond grateful for your work and trust us, we'll be working with you again in the future. All right, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, we really appreciate your support. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you can follow along with our off-grid journey. Stay tuned.